Hello, everybody. This is Granny at Granny's Small Animal Farm. And I want to wish you a Happy New Year. I'm coming out to feed my animals. And there goes Rex. He is running around. And there says Fancy. She helps me. And then Rascal and Rex playing too much. There they go playing. Get a little bit hyper. And in here is my peacock. He's, I'll throw him some food too. Get up a little closer to him. Okay. Rex drinking his water I keep out here for him and the other dogs can drink it too. Okay, Peacock, Jack, you want me to throw you some food? Okay, open the, this is my feed room. And I'm gonna get some food out. I have in here I have the pellets that I feed the animals. I get two scoops of pellets. One. Two. This is for the chickens and the goats. It's a uh, all stock pellets. It's for everybody. All types of animal stocks. And then I give some corn. My chickens love the corn. Everybody likes corn. It's chopped corn. Put that in there. Two scoops. That was one. One more. Scoop makes two. Okay, we'll put the lid back on, keep it fresh, put the lid on this one, keeping it fresh, and so the mice won't get in. So now I'm going to put this in here, my hands-free device, and I'm going to shake the food up. if you can I don't think you can see me shaking the food up but that's what I'm doing okay Rex is at the door waiting for me to go in I do not let him in come here Jack come here peacock come here peacock eat some of this corn come on Jack here he comes. Come on. You eat some of that. He picks around at it. There you go, Jack. Okay. He gets what he likes. I had a video I have a video on my peacock and I told everyone and you can learn about the peacock now I'm gonna go in where all the other animals are they're waiting for me everybody's waiting for me Billy goats trying to jump up on me and there's piggy I'm gonna take the food out here sprinkle some on the ground we'll watch them eat let the let the little chickens start eating right away. I won't be accidentally stepping on them. They like to scratch food off of the ground too. And I put it in my plates for my larger animals too. Baby doll. 
hare lamb and billy goat and penelope come on penelope yeah this is new year's day it's about 40 degrees out this is the animals lot see they're picking around at that that i put on the ground And this is the only rooster I have. He's not real. Uh, you don't need a rooster to have eggs. You can have eggs without the rooster. So he's just a big old rooster I have in the ground. Get back. I put usually three handfuls. One, two, three handfuls in each of my clay plates that I have out here. That way they can spread around and not everybody, everybody gets some. One, two, three. The rabbits come over, eat out of that, and they like to eat off of the ground too. Okay, let's put three in this one. One. A little bunny rabbit come over here. And then three. One, two, three. Now we'll go to this next one. One, two, three. Granny, me, I wasn't. I mean, I am a certified preschool teacher. And I know a lot about children, young children, and how they learn. And through all my videos, I've told you about the different animals, how to raise them, questions you may have. So I encourage you to subscribe to my channel, Granny Small Animal Farm. And we'll be feeding the animals, talking about the animals and caring for the animals on my mini farm. See, I put about six handfuls in that one. They're my little white hens. They're together all the time. They are Hamburg chickens. They're young. They had not started laying eggs yet. So you can feed the animals, animals with me every day. Two rabbits are eating over there, Lenny and Squiggy. Now they're coming over here to this long feeder here that my husband made for me. It's a pipe that he cut, put it on some boards where it won't tip over. And all the animals can get their little beaks in there, their little noses and eat. We're just gonna be observing the animals eat this morning. I got more feed in the bucket. I'm throwing out. Whoops, some of that food got on my rabbit. That way everybody gets to feed somewhere and eat somewhere. They all get fed. And you can tell that the chickens are doing good. Their pouches 
that's uh, on the lower part of their neck are full. So that means they're, that's where they put the food until the stomach is ready to, to digest it. So everything's sort of quieting down now. Got a bunch of them around over here on this one eating. I'm gonna empty out the rest of this bucket. And this little clay plate. My aim wasn't very good. It's quite a bit right there that I put out. Billy Goat and Lammy Poo. Oh, look at my rabbit. He's standing up on his haunches looking around. What are you looking at, little powder puff rabbit? Little powder puff. Always when I come out, I check the animals. I'm supposed to have two rabbits. I'm looking around. I see one rabbit, the little brown rabbit. And the black rabbit, I saw him earlier. He's here somewhere. I'll have to find him and I have two red hens. There's one, and over here is two, and I have, there's a little rabbit come here by me. I have three of these dark hens. They are black and white hens. I have three of those, so they're all present and accounted for. have two there's my white rat that little black rabbit he went inside i guess he thinks i'm gonna come in there and bring him something in there and i might i've got dessert for him i always give him a little treat and i have two yellow hens one two so everybody's here nobody got sick or hurt or got out of the pen which is a pretty good pen now the, the white hens are, they're Hamburg pens from Germany and they're half wild. They don't care that much about people wanting to pet them. I wouldn't recommend them for pets that much, but for eggs, they're real prolific. They're supposed to lay about 250 eggs a year. They're a little smaller egg because they're a little smaller chicken. But my chickens are nice and fat. They're getting plenty of food. So now, we'll just take a look at them eating. The larger animals are kind of the boss. They'll run away, the smaller animals. But everybody gets a chance to eat. There's Rex on the other side of the fence over there. He comes, he goes round the fence, watches me when I feed. He's a German Shepherd dog. And he is, he'll be a year old in February. He's, he's not full grown yet. And he doesn't know all of his manners real good. He likes to still jump on people. And uh, we have to correct him about that. And he wants to play all the time. Just a baby. 
He's just a young dog. Hey, Rex. What's going on, Rex? Rex, look at me. You can't see me because of that pole right there. You can see me, but you can't look at me good. Hey, look at me, Rex. Look up here. Yes, look at your mommy. Hey, quit focusing on the animals. Look, Rex. Rex. He's a pretty German Shepherd. Are you a pretty boy? Huh? Oh, yeah. You like to jump up on the fence. Okay. Now, we're going to go in. Oh, look at Billy Goat. He got on his little performance stage. He likes to jump up there on top. Then he likes to jump on anything. Billy Goats love to jump. If you get a billy goat, you need to have him something to be playing on and jumping on. They make good little pets. Yeah, there you go. Oh, you slid off. You slid off, little billy goat. A pretty chicken. Yeah, she's got a fat goozle. On the side of her neck down there, there's a bulge, and that's full of food. Full of food. I'm so glad that you came and helped me feed today. Check on the animals. It's an everyday thing for a person that has animals. They have to take care of them. Because we are the smartest creatures that God made. And so we are so smart that we have to take care of them. Because they're not near as smart as we are. I think I've mentioned that before. They don't drive a car. Or they don't know how to get on the internet or do anything, do they? But we know all that. And, okay, let's check the water. Their water looks okay. I probably need to add some more to it. The clear water's up at top. There is some dirt down at the bottom, but they drink the what's up top, but I will add more to that. And now I've got their dirty pen I'm gonna have to sweep out today. I sweep this all out. And look at Piggy's nest. If you've seen my videos, you've seen it before. But she has pushed the hay up underneath this rubber mat and made her nest even warmer. I just leave that up for her. She gets down in there. She don't have nice big fur like... Uh, Billy goat and my little hair sheep. She's got thinner, thinner hair, so she probably does get colder. And my rabbits love the cold. They like the cold. So let's look in here and check the egg. All right, look at here. We got two eggs right here. Two eggs there. And one egg up in here, and there's some poopy. I need to watch out for it, not get it on my fingers. Any more eggs? I don't see any more. Okay, I clean this off. I clean out here every day. And up here, on their little roost, they sleep up here at night. I've got this, it's a garden tool, and I use it to scrape off the animal poop. I scrape it down. Get down there, animal poop. Get out there, chicken poop. Down there, chicken poop. And then sometimes there's poop in here where if this gets real crowded up here, they'll uh, sleep in, inside here. And I keep that cleaned out for them and fresh straw. 
So that's what I use to clean this up here with. And then the eggs I'll take in the house. How many eggs do I have today? This is January the 1st, 2020, the first day of the year. I've got one, two, three eggs. I'll take them in the house, rinse them off so they'll be clean. And uh, we're gonna try doing some sweeping. And I'm gonna throw them their dessert. And you get to see their, them come in and, and eat their dessert. I have my broom here that I use to sweep with. You know, raising a little farm is not all fun and fun and games. There's work to be done. Yeah. Sweeping, sweeping. Do you ever help your mom in the house sweep? Of course. I get all the little chicken poop and rabbit poop and goat poop all the way because I'm going to throw them their dessert out here in a minute and you can watch them eat their dessert. Rabbits are good little pets to have. You have to pet them every day because uh, they are naturally little wild animals. But you feed them and pet them a little bit, they become just real friendly and real sweet. So, uh, anyway. Got something showing up here on my phone. I don't know why the rabbit should be white. But he is kind of got a yellow color in there. Okay, maybe going from outside to inside. Okay, I think that's good enough so they can have some dessert. I got some Fruit Loops for them. Sometimes I feed them Honey Nut Cheerios. Go to the door. There's Rex. He wants to come in and take a bite of somebody. But I don't let him. Get my Cheerios. I put them up here. Or my, they're like Fruit Loops. Yeah, Fruit Rolls is what it says. I've got a generic brand, a little cheaper brand for them. Get my hand down in there. Hey, kiddos. Throw them that out there. Looking around at the Cheerios. Let me open the door and give it to them. First, really go try to grab the whole bag. Of course, he will try to grab the whole bag. Get out, there we go. Okay, let me put this. Oh, I lost you for a minute. Throw in the 
Fruit Loops around for the animals to munch on. Yeah, they like that. Munch, munch, munch. I got all different colors. Green, yellow, pink, and blue. Yep, those are the, and purple. I see a purple one. I'm gonna eat a purple one. All different colors. get some hay for the horses feed my little horses I have to walk back here in the alleyway to feed the horses there's my hay and there's my straw I have to cut the hay I've got some a tool up here a, Kind of a wire cutter tool, pliers. Sometimes it takes a couple of tries at it. And here's another, the other. This is a bell of hay, and it's Bermuda hay. Animals like Bermuda hay. It's good hay for almost every animal. Have to put this back up. And, uh, this over here is straw. They don't eat straw, but I use that for the bedding. I use it for the chickens. It looks different. See straw, it's just straw. They really don't eat it. But this here is good hay. And that's gonna be this chunk of hay I'm gonna give to my little animals. My little horsies, my little miniature donkey. And you hear her talking? Hey, Laverne, you want to eat? Huh? Okay. Time to feed her. And look at the little shorty one, Shirley. Laverne and Shirley. Shirley is a miniature horse. There you go. You'll come out here. You want to eat inside the stall? There you go. I got long hair for the winter. They'll eat that hay. Hey, Laverne. Good girl. She got nice thick hair too, don't you, Laverne? Little donkey, little miniature donkey. And right here is their salt block. My animals, uh, my smaller animals over there has some salt they can lick. It's important for animals, especially in the summertime, because they sweat so much, they need the salt to help uh, retain some of their fluid or they uh, won't sweat at all, get dehydrated. So all your farm animals need the salt. The chickens, they don't need the salt, but the other ones do. Well, I've got some uh, correction I need to do on my video, put them together. So hopefully this will work out for everybody. go outside here so we'll watch the animals a little more eating from the fence they're still finding food to eat already gave them their dessert Sometimes those little chickens will maybe fight a little bit, but not much.
But anyway, I'm going to let you go for now. Have a happy new year. And I've got to, I'll be adding water here to their water. Making sure they have plenty of water. So we'll see you the next time. Bye-bye.